China just showed off a humanoid robot that walks with perfectly straight knees. Another startup is building robotic butlers with dexterous hands. And one company is even preparing a pregnancy robot with a full artificial womb. Jack Ma's firm dropped a humanoid chef that can cook garlic shrimp. Tesla is betting its future on Optimus despite mounting doubts. And NASA is openly planning artificial astronauts for Mars. And while all of that is happening, AI massage robots are already rolling out across the United States. The pace is wild, the stakes are huge, so let's talk about it. All right, so in Shanghai, a company called Kepler Robotics just rolled out something they're calling the K2 Bumblebee Humanoid Robot. And the thing that makes it stand out is the way it walks. Most humanoid robots you've seen over the years shuffle around with bent knees, kind of clunky like they're always crouching. Bumblebee, though, has what's called a straight knee gait, which looks much closer to how humans actually walk. It's not just about appearances, either. This gait makes it way more energy efficient and way more stable when it's walking on uneven surfaces, slopes, or even when it gets pushed or disturbed. The reason they pulled this off is because of a hybrid joint design combined with VLA plus AI framework. That's short for vision, language, and action. So it's basically processing multiple streams of data at once to react in real time. It means the robot can actually recover if it slips or someone gives it a shove, which is critical if you want these things to work in warehouses, hospitals, or anywhere outside of a carefully staged demo. At the 2025 World Artificial Intelligence Conference, Kepler streamed this thing live for eight hours straight. During the demo, Bumblebee was manipulating objects, showing off conversation skills, and holding itself steady when the environment got unpredictable. That's a big deal because one of the main criticisms of humanoid robots has always been that they're fragile and easily thrown off balance. And when you put it up against rivals like Tesla's Optimus, you can see the difference. Tesla relies on a different kind of actuation, which hasn't really proven itself in terms of disturbance resistance. Bumblebee's whole design is about handling those disturbances head on, which lowers the failure rate when you put it in a busy setting like a factory floor. People on social media are already hyping it up with predictions that by 2030, humanoids could be everywhere. Influencers are posting clips of robots jogging through city streets and Mario Naffel even went viral talking about how these machines are running trillions of operations per second. Still, Insiders keep warning that commercialization is going to be tough. Costs are high, regulators aren't ready, and even though the government is pouring money into it, there's still a long way to go before thousands of bumblebees are out there working shifts. Now, while Kepler is focusing on getting robots to move like humans, another Chinese startup called X Square Robot is taking a very different angle. They just raised over $100 million in Series A plus funding, backed by companies like Alibaba Cloud, Hongshan, and Insia Capital. Instead of obsessing over bipedal walking, X Square is zeroing in on manipulation robotic hands, fingers, and the ability to reason across multiple robot types. Their big reveal was something called Wall OSS, which is their open source embodied AI foundation model. It's designed to get around two of the biggest problems in robotics right now, catastrophic forgetting and modal decoupling. Catastrophic forgetting is when a robot learns something new and overwrites the old stuff, like teaching it to fold laundry makes it forget how to open a door. And modal decoupling is when the vision, language, and action streams get out of sync, which makes the robot clumsy. Wallow SS solves this by training on a massive corpus that blends real-world action data with augmented generative video. That means it's not just repeating rigid moves, it's memorized. It's generalizing across different lighting, shapes, and environments. Plus, it's multimodal, vision, language, and action all tied together. They've also layered in a chain of thought reasoning system, which basically lets the robot plan steps ahead, even for things it hasn't been explicitly trained for. So instead of just pick up play, place on table, it can think, walk from the dinner table to the fridge, grab the food, and then deliver it to the living room. 
What's really interesting is the way they structured the model. It's got a shared attention plus task routed feed forward network, which lets it split up data into specialized pathways, one for vision, one for instructions, one for motor commands. It's almost like building little brains inside the bigger brain. And their training process is three stages. First, the robot learns high level planning like sequencing tasks. Then it drills down into fine motor control, joints, trajectories, delicate hand movements. And finally, it fuses those two so it can plan and act fluidly in the real world. X-Square tied all of this into their new Quanta X2 robot. It's a wheeled humanoid with up to 62 degrees of freedom, two 7DOF arms, and dexterous hands with 20 degrees of freedom each. They even built an Artixan gripper for modular tool use. The robot can pick up subtle pressure changes and even mimic lifelike gestures, which gives it a surprising amount of expression. They're pitching it as a step toward robotic butlers, able to handle service work, household chores, and industrial tasks. And with a modular clamp, that can attach things like spinning brushes and mop heads, Quanta can literally clean floors in 360 degrees. The company is betting that with Wall OS open sourced on GitHub and Hugging Face, developers will start building on top of it, which could accelerate adoption. They want robotic butlers in households within five years, which might sound crazy, but considering the funding and the speed of embodied AI progress, it's not out of the question. The truth is, everything right now comes down to AI. It's no longer just a helpful skill, it's become the baseline. Nearly every high paying job already expects it. And the people who actually know how to use AI are moving ahead twice as fast as everyone else. So here's the play. Outskill, the world's first AI focused education platform, also a sponsor for today's video, is running a two day AI mastermind workshop this weekend. Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. EST. 16 hours total with mentors who've already helped learners build and launch over 100 AI products, some making four to $5,000 a month, all without writing a single line of code. Normally this training costs almost 900 bucks. I've partnered with Outskill to secure 1,000 free seats for my viewers available only for the next 72 hours. You're not just getting two days of live teaching, You'll also get lifetime access to Outskill's AI-first community of over 5,000 professionals, a seamless dashboard for ongoing learning, and exclusive bonuses worth $5,100, including a prompt Bible, a monetization roadmap, and a personalized AI toolkit builder. Seats are limited and they're filling fast. The link's in the description. Grab yours now. On the more extreme side of Chinese robotics, there's Kaiwa Technology. They recently grabbed attention with plans for what they claim will be the world's first pregnancy humanoid robot equipped with an artificial womb. The concept is a life-sized humanoid with a built-in womb that could carry a fetus through a full 10-month gestation cycle and even deliver the baby. They presented the concept at the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing. Founder Gang Kifeng described it not as an incubator, but a life-sized humanoid that mimics natural gestation with a fetus floating in artificial amniotic fluid and receiving nutrients through a hose. He says the technology is already mature in lab conditions, and now it just needs to be integrated into a humanoid form. The plan is to launch by 2026 at a price under 100,000 yuan, which is about $13,900. And obviously this is raising massive ethical and legal debates. Some see it as hope for infertile families. Others are horrified by the idea of robot surrogates. There are precedents though. In 2017, researchers in Philadelphia kept a premature lamb alive in a bio bag, a kind of artificial womb, for four weeks until it grew wool. But that was partial gestation. To go full term from fertilization to delivery is a huge leap. Jiang says they're already talking with provincial authorities in Guangdong about legal frameworks, but the questions are enormous. Now let's swing back to something that feels a little more grounded. Jack Ma's ant group through a robotics arm called Robiant just unveiled its first humanoid robot called R1. They showed it off at IFA 2025 in Berlin by cooking garlic shrimp in a demo kitchen. And then again in Shanghai at the inclusion conference. 
The R1 is a hefty machine, about 243 pounds, standing between 5.2 and 5.7 feet tall with 34 degrees of freedom. It can move at about 1.5 meters per second. The idea is that it can handle tasks like cooking, giving tours, or even basic medical consultations. Ant confirmed it's already in mass production with units delivered to places like the Shanghai History Museum. They're not selling it as a standalone product though. It comes as part of broader scenario solutions for institutions. Ant's CEO of Robiant, Zhu Xing says, they're newcomers, but they want to leverage Ant's digital expertise in finance and services to extend into the physical world. They're already setting up test deployments in restaurants and community centers, and they're developing a second generation version. On top of that, Ant is working on its own large language model called Bailing, designed to run efficiently on domestic GPUs. It's pretty clear they're thinking of merging AI software and hardware into a complete package. The competition's heating up though. Unitree and Tesla are pushing hard, and Unitree's founder even said at the same conference that the hardware is ready, but embodied intelligence still isn't there yet. So right now, the fight isn't about building the bodies, it's about the brains. All right, now Elon Musk just dropped Master Plan Part 4. Unlike the first three, which were spaced out over nearly two decades, this one came just 29 months after Part 3, which shows how fast things are moving. The plan puts AI and robotics right at the center with the theme of sustainable abundance. They're pitching autonomous cars as improving affordability, availability, and safety while cutting pollution. But the big focus is on Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot. Musk is saying it's going to redefine labor, taking on dangerous or monotonous jobs so people have more time for what they actually want to do. The problem is, critics aren't convinced. As Tesla's robo-taxi service in Austin still needs human operators, safety regulators are circling, and Optimus itself has been accused of fakery at events where robots were actually controlled by humans. Production in 2025 looks very unlikely. Even Musk admitted the plan lacks specifics and said he'd add more later. And then there's space. NASA's Pascal Lee has been pushing the concept of artificial astronauts, Basically, humanoid robots built tough enough for Mars missions so you don't need to ship tons of food, oxygen, or life support. They could do spacewalks without bulky suits, and they'd be perfect for early missions where conditions are brutal. Lee says we're moving into an age of androids with AGI, artificial general intelligence, that match human traits and mobility. And further down the line, maybe even artificial super astronauts powered by ASI, artificial super intelligence. In that scenario, robots would outperform humans in every way, carrying human DNA across the galaxy, maybe even to exoplanets. He goes so far as to suggest we'll see them as our offspring, living through their adventures like proud parents. SpaceX is on board with this kind of thinking. Musk has said that Starship could launch Optimus robots to Mars as early as 2026 ahead of human landings in 2029 or 2031. If those landings succeed, humans would follow, but the robots would go first as pathfinders. And while all of that sounds like big picture science fiction, there are also robots sliding into everyday life in smaller ways. In San Antonio, Texas, a boutique spa became the first in the city to offer Escape, an AI powered robotic massager. It's been in development for seven years with $70 million sunk into it. The machine uses two robotic arms, a body scan with four cameras and pressure sensors to deliver massages that people say feel surprisingly human-like. Customers wear a tight-fitting suit so the robot doesn't need oils or lotions, and the system adjusts pressure in real time, avoiding sensitive areas like the neck and ankles. Sessions cost $80 for an hour or $45 for half an hour, which is cheaper than many human massage therapists. The spa leases the machine instead of buying it since the upfront cost is high, but escape units are already in over 100 locations across the United States. Some people love the novelty, others are terrified the robot might crush them, though the company says the arms have strict pressure limits, it's not great for things like knots in your shoulders, so licensed therapists still have an edge, but for people who don't like human touch, it's an appealing option. All right, that's where we'll wrap it up. If you found this interesting, drop your thoughts in the comments, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.